This is the Airbus A2-2100, the smaller variant of the A2-21 series. The story of the plane begins in the early 2000s when Bombardier Aerospace embarked on a project to develop a new family of aircraft aimed at the 100 to 150 seat market segment. This initiative was originally known as the C-Series, and the concept behind it was to create a line of highly efficient single aisle aircraft utilizing the latest technology in aerodynamics, materials, and propulsion to challenge the dominance of Airbus and Boeing in this sector. The C-Series program was officially launched in 2008, with the CS100 being the smaller variant in this new family. The development phase faced multiple challenges, including delays and cost overruns. However, it was the selection of the PDU 1500G geared turbofan engines that set the CS100 apart, promising significant improvements in fuel efficiency and reduced noise and emissions. But despite the first technical successes, the company struggled with the commercial aspect of the C-Series program, as high development costs coupled with fierce competition from Airbus and Boeing put financial strain on Bombardier. In a strategic move to save the C-Series and maximize its potential, the company entered into a partnership with Airbus in October 2017. Airbus acquired a majority stake in the C-Series program, and the rebranding included renaming the CS100 to the Airbus A2-2100. But how good is it actually? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus A2-2100. Stepping inside, the cabin offers a width of 10 feet 7 inches or 3.28 meters, which is quite generous compared to other aircraft in its class, while the height is 6 feet 10 inches or 2.08 meters. The layout is meticulously designed to maximize space utilization and comfort and typically accommodates between 100 to 125 passengers, with a standard layout seating 116 passengers. This configuration includes both standard and preferred seating, with the latter offering additional legroom. The aircraft's Seats are arranged in a 2-3 configuration, which is an optimal setup that reduces the number of middle seats and facilitates easier movement for passengers and crew alike. In terms of overhead bins, the aircraft boasts larger compartments than many of its competitors in the regional jet market. These bins are designed to accommodate larger carry-on bags, allowing for approximately one bag per passenger, assuming typical carry-on size restrictions, a feature that significantly reduces the struggle for overhead bin space. Seat dimensions and comfort are superior within its category. Seats are typically 18.5 inches or 47 centimeters wide, which is more generous than many other narrow-body aircraft. The pitch in standard economy configuration ranges from 30 to 32 inches or 75 to 80 centimeters. This space is quite adequate for medium haul flights and the ergonomic design of the seats ensures support and comfort. The in-flight entertainment and connectivity options are usually top notch. Each seat is often equipped with a high definition screen, providing a wide range of multimedia options such as movies, music, games, and real-time flight information. USB charging ports and power outlets are standard and high-speed Wi-Fi is available. Lighting utilizes the latest LED technology which can be adjusted to create an ambience that mimics natural daylight patterns, a feature that helps minimize jet lag by aligning with passengers' circadian rhythms. Regarding noise and vibration levels, the A2-2100 is engineered to provide one of the quietest cabin experiences in the sky. The aircraft's advanced aerodynamics, high-efficiency engines, and state-of-the-art insulation materials significantly reduce the ambient noise, creating a tranquil environment conducive to relaxation. The pressurization and air circulation systems also deserve mention. The aircraft is equipped with an advanced air management system that introduces fresh air into the cabin every few minutes. The system also features HAPA filters that remove more than 99.9% .9 of particles, viruses, and bacteria from the air. The cabin's maximum different pressure is higher than typical commercial jets, allowing it to maintain a lower cabin altitude at cruising elevations. And finally, the lavatories are designed with passenger comfort in mind. They are more spacious than typical narrow-body aircraft lavatories with improved accessibility features, including ambient lighting and modern fixtures that enhance the overall passenger experience. Now let's step into the cockpit. The avionics suite is designed by Rockwell Collins, now part of Collins Aerospace, and is centered around the ProLine Fusion avionics 
electronic system. The system features five high-resolution 15.1-inch LCD screens that provide pilots with critical flight information and navigation data. These displays feature synthetic vision, enhancing situational awareness by providing a three-dimensional graphical representation of terrain and obstacles. One of the key innovations in the avionics is the incorporation of an electronic flight instrument system that supports multiple display modes tailored to different phases of flight, such as takeoff, cruising, and landing. This adaptability allows pilots to customize the display information based on specific needs and preferences, thus optimizing their workload and improving overall flight safety. The cockpit also boasts an advanced FMS, which integrates seamlessly with the aircraft's AFCS. This integration provides enhanced functionality, including performance-based navigation capabilities that allow for highly accurate lateral and vertical aircraft maneuvers. The FMS 100 supports RNP procedures, which allow the aircraft to fly on any desired flight path within the coverage of station reference navigation signals or within the limits of the capability of self-contained aids or a combination of these. Another highlight is the aircraft's electronic checklist system, which automates routine procedures and ensures compliance with standard operating procedures. The A2-2100 is equipped with a comprehensive communication suite that includes dual VHF communication radios, SATCOM, and HF radios, which ensure constant and reliable communication with ATC and the airline's operations center, regardless of the aircraft's global position. In terms of navigation, the cockpit is outfitted with multiple redundancy systems, including dual IRS, dual GPS receivers, and an MMR that can process signals from various satellite navigation systems like GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo. Regarding autopilot features, the aircraft is equipped with an auto throttle system, which automatically adjusts the thrust to maintain a preset speed or power setting, thereby aiding in fuel efficiency and reducing pilot fatigue during extended flights. And finally, noise levels in the cockpit are remarkably low due to the aircraft's aerodynamic design and the use of advanced sound damping materials. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Airbus A2-2100 is powered by the Pratt & Whitney Pure Power PW1500G engines. Each engine delivers a thrust range of up to 23,300 pounds force. These engines are part of the revolutionary geared turbofan family, known for their remarkable efficiency and reduced environmental impact. The unique aspect of these engines is their gear system, which allows the fan to operate at a different speed than the low pressure compressor and turbine. This innovation leads to better fuel efficiency, reduced noise levels, and lower emissions. The aircraft requires 4,800 feet or 1,500 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a maximum takeoff weight of 139,000 pounds or 63,000 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 33,300 pounds or 15,100 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,000 feet or 610 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet or 12,500 meters. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.82, a typical cruise speed of Mach 0.78, a maximum range of 3,450 nautical miles, which is 4,000 miles or 6,400 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 4,550 feet or 1,390 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Airbus A2-2100 is $81 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.